Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Artifacts and Antiquity. This is the new game from Zed Technician, who of course was the developer behind the hit sensation of The Man in the Window, and more recently games like The Amanda Curse. The games from Zed Technician always have very unique mechanics and strange concepts around them, and these kind of animal humanoid type characters that inhabit the worlds. And you'll see as we go through this one, if you're unfamiliar with the world of Zed Technician games, guys, they're very, very strange. But I thought I'd play this on the channel today. I'm not sure I'm going to have time to get all the endings and stuff, but I will do, like, a regular playthrough, just experience the game, because a lot of you have been asking me to play this. So with that said, let's dive in to the world of artifacts and antiquity and see what this game is all about. Okay, we've got a character. As usual, it looks like a busty woman. Which is very common in Z Technician games. This is Gracie. She says, Thank you for calling the NC Electronics Hotline Support. My name is Gracie. Uh, how may I help you? Oh, it's uh, that guy from the Vermanda Curse, the. Yeah, Morton, the nurse. Hello, madame. The computer we have here at my job has suddenly stopped working, and I can't figure out what's wrong with it. It was perfectly fine yesterday, but now it won't even turn on. Let me guess, it's an IXY model desktop? Yeah, that's it, exactly. How did you know? There's a ton of folks calling about issues regarding the IXYs right now. I hate to say it, but you're probably better off getting a new computer if you can, preferably one not made by our company. What? And why is that? Well, this is part of why I'm supposed to tell you all about how we're working on a solution, and not to worry. But that's not true at all. The IXYs all have a special chip that's made from an extremely cheap metal called Neon. First problem with the chips is that they only have a lifespan of a few years tops, and after that they all start just to rust. So I just need to go out and get the chip replaced? See, now there's the other problem. Neon was recently outlawed because of how volatile it is, and NC Electronics knowingly used a dangerous material just to save on production costs. So now, our main product is a liability, and the company is in straight-up meltdown mode because their shady dealings have finally caught up with them. I decided to work from home today because it's like the final hours of Pompeii in the office right about now. And to be honest with you, I didn't feel like dealing with all of that today. Excuse my asking, Mom, but are you okay? You sound rather dejected at the moment. I'm fine, except not really. I've given my all to this company and now everything's just over. Curtains. And do you know what the higher-ups have to say about all of this? Nothing? There you go. All of the executives either have cushy new positions lined up or they're just planning to retire. Meanwhile, the nobodies like me get nothing. I don't even know where I'll go after this. Hmm, well in that case, might I suggest checking the Red Page Post website? A good friend of mine once had some trouble finding work, but then managed to find something on there. I think I've heard about that one before. I'll go check that out right now. Why, you're just the sweetest thing, taking the time to help out little old me. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, I should probably tell you this too. Get rid of that computer immediately. Like, right now. Oh no, it's smoking, guys. Look at it. Smoke's just pouring out. Once that chip starts to rust, the whole thing tends to overheat pretty quickly. Oh, it's in flames. Great. Whoa, he says. Ida, Ida! Well, sir, thanks for calling NC Electronics. You have a nice evening. So it's kind of interesting how they, like, tie in Morton from the Manda Curse into this game. I like that. So Gracie says, I better start searching then. Sorry I'm not doing the voices, guys. I've got a slightly sore throat at the moment, so I'm not up to doing, like, crazy voices for this video. But I'll try my best. Look out, world. Gracie's coming for you. Cool. Let's do this. So Gracie's off to find a new job at the Stall & Co. shipping company by the look of it. Alright. Here we go. We're in. Gracie says, so yeah, after getting turned down from 38 different places, I ended up here. Wow, she had to do a, a very thorough job hunt by the sound of it. I'm eager to get started, Miss Faye. Oh, so this is Faye. Who's like a fairy, I guess? Well, ain't that just the bee's knees? I ain't put too much confidence in hiring from online at first. But seems like you'll do just fine. Ain't too much to do around here at night, since this place is just a shipping warehouse. <laughs> Don't know what this accent is, guys. Now, between us, 
They really only ship stuff that don't nobody else want to deal with, haha. <laughs> but for some reason, they pay us to make sure ain't nobody gonna break in and steal nothing in here. Now come on and follow me, let me show you the offs. Okay. Alright, so she's gonna show us the off- wow, she is very top heavy. The owners of this place are Stall Brothers. They built it from the ground up, they did. You might have heard of them already from somewhere, I don't know. But they're just the kindest folks you'll ever meet. Sometimes on the weekends, they come out here in their trucks and run moonshine out the back. But don't tell no one about that now. Moonshine? Oh yeah, it's real good too. I'll get him to pour you some next time. No, that's okay, I think I'll pass on that one. Yeah, Moonshine is pretty strong stuff, guys. It's kind of like uh, Absinthe, which I have tried, but I haven't tried Moonshine, but it's like really pure alcohol. Suit yourself, hun. Okay, so, oh, who is this guy? That's Mike. Oh, it's my name. It's me. Say hi, Mike. Uh, hey, Mike. Don't pay him no mind, he's just being silly. Nice to meet you. Same. And this here is our state-of-the-art security system. The stalls daisy-chained a bunch of old TVs together, then they hooked it up to some cameras that they bought off a thrift store. Works like a charm. Or well, what do we do if a thief shows up? If it ain't something either me or Mike can handle ourselves, then we usually just go home. Yup. So they didn't really have great security then, <laughs> they just go home if they can't handle it. So we just sit here and wait for something to happen. Not always, sometimes the signal from a movie channel comes in real good, then we watch that. Sweet, yeah, stick on some comedies, go through the night. But we'll get to that later. Tonight ain't like other nights here at the warehouse. The stalls done accepted a contract to move some pretty pricey looking stuff. It's set to ship out tomorrow. I don't know where it's all come from, but it sure is fancy than the stuff we usually ship out here. There's an old coffin up on camera free. Now right before you got here, me and Mike started hearing some weird stuff over there in that camera. Protocol says that if we ever hear something strange, then we gotta check it out. You're new, so I ain't about to send you over there. So either me or Mike's gonna go check it out for you. Your job tonight is to stay here and make sure we all get back safely. So we basically send them somewhere and we gotta get them back in one piece, I think, guys. Faye continues and says, So go ahead and pick up that old radio on the desk. There's a little tab that you need to press in order to use it. I'm guessing that just means literally press tab. All you gotta do is get one of us over to camera free. You think you can handle that? Oh, absolutely, says Gracie. Just talk to either one of us and we'll head in. Well, let's get on and get done. <laughs> I think I misread that, but you know what I mean. Alright, guys, so we're in the building. And we've got all these cameras that we can select, and we have to speak to either Mike or Faye. She looks insane. I'm going to send Mike. I'm going to send me. I'm listening. All right, uh, talk with Mike. Ain't much to this job, but it's honest work. All right, well, uh, let's see if we can send you out then. Reckon I better get a move on then. All right, off you go then. He's like one of those shadow people from... Uh, I can't remember what the game was called by Z Technician. It's the only one I haven't done a playthrough on the channel. It was this game about these shadow people who lived in this valley. And uh, I think he's meant to be one of those. So we've got to get him to camera free, I believe. Where is he now? Is this him? That looks like him, right? On camera 10. So wait, can I move him just along? Oh, wait. I need to pick up that, right? Ah, yeah. Now I can select cameras. So we move to camera 9. And I think what we want to do is just guide him up to three. So maybe maybe move to four and then three, maybe. Yeah, he goes to four. Okay, and then to three. So it's like a grid, and you move him along one by one. Made it. Tap the monitor I am on, and then I'll get searching. Okay, let's do it. So we just double tap, and then he searches the crate or sarcophagus in this case. It's like Tutankhamun's sarcophagus. Anything? It's quiet. Seems like all's well. Oh. Wait. This is not looking good. What is happening? Oh, okay. What is this, Cleopatra or something? 
The near limitless level of insolence you mortals exude on a constant basis has now doomed you all. Repent now and allow us to reclaim what is rightfully ours, else your kind will not live to see another day. Pardon? Ugh. <sighs> Why did the last hope for humanity have to reside within the hands of this stupid hick town? Listen. So she's come out, is she gonna help us or is she gonna be after us? She's got a glass of wine as well, miraculously just has a glass of wine in her hand. Now do you understand? Every single artifact that is being housed here is stolen. I ain't about to believe that. The stores would never steal nothing. You hayseeds don't listen. I never implied that your employer knowingly accepted our stolen treasures. They are irrelevant in this. That does not change the fact but if those artifacts aren't returned soon, the armies of the ancient gods will be unleashed upon your world. But that's not fair, why are we being punished for something someone else did? Despite my reservations about your uncultured yokels, I'm on your side in this. Destroying humanity for the sake of seven little trinkets that we don't even use anymore seems quite foolish. So she is on our side guys. For this reason I have come to help you. Bring all seven artifacts to me before the gods' patience run out and all will be forgiven. However, even with my help, this will not be an easy task for you three, for both Sekhmet and Foth are placing their thumbs upon the scale against you. They both wish to bring about the end of humanity and will do everything in their power to stop you. Oh, the time's running out. This hourglass represents how long you have until the gods grow tired of waiting. You must bring each artifact to me before it runs out. You could have started that after, like, you told us this. Lastly, I can easily use my powers to show you where each item is located, so all you need to do is ask. Any questions? Yeah, what about, uh, no. Now shut up. <laughs> okay, calm down. Go. So she just wants us to crack on. Um, look at her. Crazy lady. Okay, enjoying your wine? Um, she says, what? Ask for help finding the artifact. Fine then. Observe. Okay. Okay. So artifact one is in the shipping container. I think that's on camera three, right? You figure out the rest. All right. I guess we send Faye out this time. Johan, uh, ask her to enter the warehouse. You got it. Sweet. Okay, she's off. So we want to keep her alive. There's our time. She started at camera 10. I think we want to get to... I think it was camera... It could be camera 4, actually. Let's move her to camera 4. I'm not sure what was beside it. It could be um, camera 3 as well. I'll check this one. You think it's in here? Search for room. Go on. I'll start looking then. Is this it? Hopefully we chose the right one. Hey, well we got something. I found it! Oh, oh that wasn't her voice. <laughs> I found it. I'll leg it back over here now. Alright, cool, thanks. So she got an artifact, so now we move to camera 5, and I think she comes off at camera 10, right? Oh, the cameras are going down. Uh, Miss Faye, hello! The signal in here is liable to go down at any time, especially when the wind kicks up outside. There's a computer out there in the lobby. When things stop responding, it means you need to reset it. Go look at it and it'll ask for a password. The thing's so cheap that it'll accept anything you just type in, so hit a bunch of keys and then it will reset. Okay, so basically just hit any keys on the computer. Where is it though? Oh, wait. I think this is it. Okay. So just tap some keys, welcome, nice it worked, sweet. And we go back, and hopefully we can guide her back. I don't know if there are any like monsters that will attack her or anything at the moment. But either way, we're bringing her back, she's got the artifact magically floating behind her, and in she comes, look at this. So that's one done. You have successfully retrieved the first of our artifacts. Now do not get overconfident. For the servants of Sekhmet have been tasked with preventing you from completing your mission. The Sentinel has now arrived. In life he was a steadfast guardian for our kingdom. In death, he has been allowed to keep his mortal body as a reward. Now he is here. So watch carefully for him and do not enter the same room as he. Should you cross paths with him, I will not be able to save you. 
Now go. So it's a, basically a monster that will kill us if we encounter it. Hey, look. Is that it? I think this is it on camera seven. So now I have to ask about the next artifact, right? So it's by, oh, it's by where we were before. Okay, you figure out the rest. Yes, sweet. Um, so that was, I believe. Where was that? I think it's here, camera three. Sweet, so we'll send Mike out again. It's his turn. I'm listening. All right, just go off. Reckon I better get a move on then. All right, off you go then. See you later, mate. So you're on camera 10. We just need to keep him away from, like, this guy on 7, right? So send him to 5. 4 and then 3. That should be fine. Man, I, can't, I can kind of hear something spooky sounding. So we send him to 3 and then we get him to search, right? Is he good? Should I search in here? Yeah, search for room. I'll find that thing in a jiffy. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. From one mic to another, I uh, appreciate that. Hey, look, we got a scepter or something. So now we need to guide him back. Hopefully the cameras don't go down. I suggest that you keep a close eye on the whereabouts of your enemies this night, for I cannot guarantee that they will choose to remain stationary once you've collected an artifact. Oh, great. Don't forget that's a move. Yeah, he's on four now, so we need to go down to eight. Then nine, then ten, right? He's still there on four, look. So just bring him back. He'll come through the door now, I think. Here we go. Good job, Mike. You've now retrieved two of our seven... There's seven artifacts, are you kidding me? We've got to do another five? Keep that pace, but proceed carefully, for the assassin has now arrived. In life, he was an unstoppable force among our people. In death, he was allowed to keep his mortal body as a reward. Now he is here. He will be much more difficult than the Sentinel to locate. Watch the shadows closely, for you will no doubt be able to see his piercing red eyes glaring back at you. Oh, great. So he hides and you just see his eyes. Is it that guy? We've got someone on free. So where's the other guy? Is it that? I can kind of see someone on eight, I think. Oh no, no, one. It's camera one and camera three, okay. So we need to send Faye out now. So ask her to enter the warehouse. So now we need to also ask this woman quickly where the artifact is. So she gives us a clue. So this time, it's a container around some shelves on the right and some barrels on the left. So where is that? You figure out the rest, yeah, sure. I think it's, no, it's not that one. It is, I think here on camera two. So we'd need to go to nine first. I can see someone on eight. But I think we can go to eight. I think we can go to eight. Guys, I'm going to just take the risk. I'm going to try and take the risk. Please don't get attacked. Go to seven immediately. And then go up to two. And then search two. As long as I don't come in and get her now. You think that it's in here? Yeah, search for room. I'll start looking then. Man, I'm getting nervous. This is actually kind of a, a cool, like, design. Because you kind of worry if they're going to get caught. Yeah, look, we've got a mask. Sweet. That's very Egyptian. So now, we need to make sure... Look, he's on seven now. I can see his red eyes. The other one... We can actually move back because the other one's on four, I think. So if we move down to eight now... Now to nine. Just move her quickly and quickly and quickly over to ten. That's right, you're out of there. Nice, we did it guys. We've got another artifact, everybody's safe so far. She should be happy, the nameless woman. That's free. Perhaps my trust in you country bumpkins wasn't entirely misplaced after all. I suggest you do not disappoint me. All right, calm down. 
What's happening now? Looks like we still got time. Let me ask her again. She says, what? Uh, we want help. Okay, let's have a look for the next one. So there's no new enemies. It's near a pallet and some shelves on the left. Okay, you figure out the rest, sure. So a pallet and some shelves on the left. This one, I think, 13. And our enemies are on nine and two. Let's send Mike out. I'm listening. What did he say if he just talked with him? Go get this, go get that. We're security guards, not a bunch of daggum couriers. Yeah, this isn't what I signed up for earlier. But if we don't get this done, it'll be the end of all of us. Bah. All right, is he gonna help me? I'm listening. All right, so ask Mike to enter the warehouse. He gets going. Now what we need to do here, guys, is be very, very careful. We need to go up to camera five. Um, then four. Where was it? We need to go down to 13, right? So we'll go to three from here. Then down to eight. And then down to 13. And then we double tap. Oh God, the cameras. No, okay. Tap in the password. Sweet, welcome. Nice, good. And then we run. We've got to do this fast. Is he still alive? Yeah, okay. Quickly search. Should I get searching? Yes, you should. Search that room. Let's see if we got the right one. I think we have. I'm pretty sure this is what she showed us. Yeah, look at that. Crossbow. Sweet. Or a bow and arrow, I should say. So where have they moved to is the question. We've got one on four. And one on six, actually, we're pretty we're pretty good to go. We can probably just go to eight and move straight across like this. Look at that. Magic, and he brings it right back. Look at that, sweet. Ah, good job, Mike. Okay, she says, now you've completed the first half of your task this night. However, the third and final servant of Sekhmet is now here. Oh man, there's another. The priest has arrived. It's difficult for me to put into simple terms what has become of him. In life he ascended. Now his spirit and body are no longer tied to this world, yet he is also unable to cross into the next. Your sad mortal eyes will not be able to see him. Take my ankh. If you hold it and focus, you'll be able to locate him. You may use it in the same way you use that device we call the radio. Now go. Oh, I see. How do we locate him? Do we just... Oh, he's there. 13. Yeah, you, you take it away. Look, guys, and he disappears, so he's there. So, at the moment, it's 12, 13, and 2. We have to worry about. Let's ask uh, where the thing is this time. So, she says, observe. It's near a row of vans, actually. So, um, you figure out the rest. Okay. So, a row of vans. I think this one, then. We need to get to one. So, we go from 10 to 9, 8, 7, 6, and then up to one. Pretty easy. So, we'll send out, I think it's phase turn, right? We'll ask her to enter the warehouse. Go get them, Faye. Right. So I need to get my radio and start sending her out. Now, I am going to just double check that they're all in the same place still, which they are. Good. So we'll send her across. We'll move her as quickly as we can. She moves pretty fast as well. You know, she flies across the screen. So we just move her all the way down here up to camera one. And then we ask her to do a little check of this shipping container here. Think it's in here? I do think it's in here. So she's gonna have a little look. And this should be it, I think. I think this is what, number five now? Five of seven? Yeah, look at that. It's like um, a neck brace or something. So now we need to be super careful and figure out where this guy is. So we've got one on camera six there. You can just see him, right, guys? No one on two. 
The other guy is on five. And then we have one on eight. So we need to bring her across to four, go down, and then to ten. Okay. Let's do this. So two. Three. Four. Hopefully this is all good. Nine. And across to ten. Go, go, go. Yes, I think we've done it. I think it worked. Look at that. Another artifact for the collection there. And the nameless woman says, that's five. You only have two more to go. Well done. Thanks. And it just continues. Um, cool. So let's ask her where the next one is then. Uh, let's want some help. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's by the diver suit. I actually know the camera she means. I've seen that before. You figure out the rest. Can I, like, speak to her about anything else? I don't mean to be rude, but who exactly are you? Who I am is not important. Not anymore, at least. I am nameless. That's all you need to know, mortal. Alright. Fine. You're nameless. Great. Where's the diver's suit? I don't see it. Oh, it's here. Camera 12. So we go across to 8, down to 13, across to 12. Okay, it's Mike's turn. I'm listening. Enter the warehouse, Mike. He says, I reckon I better get a move on, and you had. So he started off camera 10. We need to get him to go across to 9. To 8. Down to 13. And across to 12. Go on. And now search for camera 12. Uh, yes, search room. Let's hope we've got this, guys. Oh, I can see the little demon thing in the corner as well. Hey, we got a locket or a bracelet or something. I think it's a bracelet, right? So that's good. Now we need to make sure we don't bring him back. Look, 13, we've got that little enemy there now. Where's the guy? Oh, so the guy's up there on camera 3, the hidden guy, and the other one's there. This is actually pretty easy then. Take him up to 7. 8. Across to 9. It's just a straight line to the finish now, guys. There we go. Look at that. Boom. Success. And he comes back into the room with the bracelet in hand. Final one, right? It seems that both Sekhmet and Foth themselves have now arrived. Oh, what? You said it would be like the last one. Now we've got Sekhmet and Foth. Or Hoff. I don't know how you pronounce that. I think it's Foth, right? This is unprecedented. I do not know what they intend to do here. Regardless of what tactic they will try to employ, just know that my Ankh will most likely stop it. If something seems amiss, stand strong and point the Ankh towards it. Good luck. You'll need it. Um, okay? What the heck? Bro, I don't know. There's one there. It seems like there's like loads of stuff going on. You know what? I'm just gonna ask you uh, for some advice. Help finding the artifact. Let's have a quick look. So it's by the pipes in a shipping container by the pipes to the right. So let's have a quick look at where that would appear on our screen. Oh! Eyes. Man. You gotta get rid of the eyes. So shipping container with the pipes. Where's that? Oh, it's here. It's 11. Alright, let's send out Faye. It's your turn. You gotta do this, Faye. One last run, right? One last rodeo. You got it, she says. Oh! Man! Something came through the window. Damn! Get rid of these eyes. Okay. We've got to get her across to 11. Right, I'm sending her across, guys. Go. And again. I'm just getting this out. I'm checking. I think we're good. Go. And again. We good? Yeah. Down to a... Oh. No. No. Get, get rid of him. Get rid of him. She's trying to stop us. Okay, down to 11. Down to 11. And then search this, right? 
Search. Search. Do you want to search? Yes, search room. Okay, I'll start looking. This is actually really nerve-wracking, guys. We can do this. I'm sure we can do it. So, she searches the container. Yes, the chalice, the final artifact. Now we bring her back to safety. But to do that, we're going to have to check. So, we've got no one on 12 or 13. We've got someone on 8. We're going to have to bring her to 12, then 7, then up and along. Oh, great. We've got the eyes again. No, you stay back. You stay back. Okay, so 12 first. Then all the way up. Oh, great. I've got to go back. Ah! Go, go, go! Put in. What? Behind you? What? What do you mean behind? Oh. We're actually fine. Ah! I don't know what the heck that was. I don't care. Right, where are we? We need to go up to seven and then two. I think. Seven? And then two, right? I'm checking, I'm checking. We're still good on those. Bring it to three. Oh! Get rid of them. Okay, we did it. Okay, go to three. Go to four, I think. Oh, get away, you freak. Down to nine. And then to ten. I really hope she doesn't get attacked now. Go, go, go. I think we've done it. Guys, I think we've done it. She's safe. We brought her back. That's actually insane. Okay, tell us Cleopatra what's, what's next. That is the seventh and final item. With all of these artifacts firmly in my possession, the Ancient One's anger will no doubt be quelled. You corn-fed hillbillies have masterfully thwarted the end of humanity on this night. Why is she so mean to us, man? She kind of compliments us, but at the same time she throws a little insult in there at the same time, you know? So it's kind of like a, a backhanded compliment. Well done. However, it would seem that Sekhmet still does not intend to let you leave this place alive despite your efforts. Perhaps it is time to show you why these items used to be so important to us. Observe. She's going to help us out. What's she doing? Oh, is she combining them into like a, a guard or something? That'd be cool. Yeah, look at this. When combined correctly, they assume the form of an unstoppable warrior such as this. Behold the protector, ancient guardian of our people. His power is now yours to command, mortals. Speak the words and trample thine enemies underfoot. Okay. Get him, tiger. So shall it be, says the protector. And off he goes to protect, by the look of it. He's going to bash some skulls. Oh. So, what do we do? Do we? Oh, we just send him to kill things. Camera five, right? Kill that little freak. There you go. Nice. One is being thwarted. So... The other one we've got on camera 8, so we might as well go and do it in sequence. Go and get the one on camera 8 next. And then get the one on 12. Where's he gone there? Okay, so down to here. And now we just take out our... Oh, there he is. We don't even need to take out the scepter. Okay, bring him over to 7. We're going to get this little guy on 6 now. Look at this. We're going to watch him get... Smashed. Boom. Nice. Good job. Oh, he ran away. Is is that it? What the heck is that? It's like a bird. Is that an, an anteater or is that a bird or something? Well played, mortals. I yield. Oh, this is Foth. Come out, Sekhmet. It is pointless to continue now. Oh, so Sekhmet was a, a female character. No, this isn't over yet. Oh, but it is. The artifacts have all been reclaimed, the protector has been assembled, and your servants have already run for the hills, have they not? There is no reason to continue our efforts this night. Ah, I suppose not. If there is no more to be done here, then let us return home at once. This place reeks anyway. Alright, calm down. Wait, says Gracie. Oh? Why were you two so dead set on destroying humanity anyway? Why indeed? What a silly question. 
The sooner we bring about the end of mankind, then the sooner we get to remake it. Have you ever created anything? It's quite fun. <laughs> they just wanted to do it for a laugh. What? You can't just erase this and start over like we don't matter. Says you, we've already done it plenty of times before. If you don't like our methods, then come and stop us. Oh, that's right, you can't. You're far too insignificant for that, aren't you? Ha 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 ha. But enough of that. Let us return home, Sekhmet. Yes, let's. Alright. Kind of edgy duo there, trying to recreate humanity all the time. And Gracie just gets to chill by the look of it now. Pay them no mind. You have done a great deal of good on this night. They are simply upset that things did not go their way. Despite all their mighty talk, they can only be as powerful as you let them become. Keep that in mind. Thanks, I'll remember that. With that, I suppose I should leave as well. You ain't gotta go, you know. What's a rush? Uh-huh. Hmm, perhaps you have a point. My time away from the gods' dwelling place has been quite relaxing. I needed a break from the others. That's why she's sipping on that wine. I don't know, I wouldn't ask her to stick around, she's been kind of rude to us. A her is more vain than I am. Ra is an utter moron. And Anubis never stops bragging about how many movies he's been in. Enough of them. I think I'm going to stay in this realm for a little while. Ah, She's a new friend. There we go, she can help us pack up the warehouse and get out of here. What's going on? And that's exactly what she did. There we go, this is for a narrator now, I assume. With both the Protector and their slightly vitriolic new friend around, Stahl & Co's shipping company was never at risk again. Many nights were spent either gossiping about the various goings on around town, or being regaled by the nameless stories of a long time past. The five of them enjoyed every minute of it. So they all just became friends and enjoyed working at the warehouse. And that's it. Is that literally like the ending? Well, that's the like ending that gives us the star. I don't know if we get like a free star ending. I can't remember. I think the star means you've unlocked the true ending in these games. So I think that's like the best ending we could have got. But there probably are like worse endings where the characters die and stuff. But either way, guys, I think I got the true ending there, like the proper like main ending, because we kept everyone alive and we banished the evil and we completed all our tasks. So I imagine that's basically like the best ending you can get. So that was Artifacts and Antiquity, and certainly I found it to be a pretty enjoyable one. I actually think it's one of my favourite games from Zed Technician yet, because I liked the simple gameplay mechanics there. It was quite tense at the end when they actually throw lots of different mechanics at you. You could actually make a, like, uh, a longer night based around that, and I think it would be quite fun, kind of like a FNAF style game. Uh, it was a good game, it was enjoyable, I'll leave a link below if you want to check it out for yourselves. Hopefully you've enjoyed my little playthrough of it today, and if you have, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.